Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. My overtakes are crap and that's something I'm proud of. So I'll show you why and why your overtake should be crap as well. But not only crap, you should also be cuck. Well, CRAP is obviously an acronym. The C is for car, because that's the thing you'll be overtaking most often. But of course, it isn't only cars you'll be overtaking, so we'll have a look at something else as well. What's the car doing? This one's proceeding along nicely. I go to overtake and it veers across the road. There's a slight bit of subsidence on the left. I don't know why I needed to take up the whole road. This car's been pootling along at about 65 miles an hour in lane three. As I go to overtake, yep, they go all the way onto the rumble strip. I think they'd fallen asleep. And in neither case would I have wanted to have been alongside either one of these cars. This car's crawling along about 20 miles an hour. I've already clocked the cyclist. There's a Land Rover parked there, usually parks there a couple of times a week delivering feed. And this is about the only place along this road you can overtake. Trouble is with cyclists, they'll be given a right to ride two abreast in the highway code, so they do. And also in big long pelotons like this one. It's about 12 in that one, but I've seen them 50 or 60 bikes long, nose to tail. If one of them comes off, the old bloody lot go down. One thing to consider is the road surface appropriate for doing overtakes. If you're on a narrow road and it's flooded and full of potholes, do you really want to be putting an overtake in there where a vehicle might be moving from one side to the other to avoid these? Next, is your overtake appropriate? Now we'll ignore the illegality of some of these, but uh, the first one, you do want to be giving a little bit more room to the vehicle you're overtaking than this and probably not cutting straight in front of them either when it's complete. Another illegal overtake coming up here, but there's oncoming vehicles and there we go, they had to brake. They managed you to brake quite sharply to avoid a front impact with the BMW. Also, appropriateness to overtake. Do you really want to be trying to put an overtake in just before returning you're going to be taking? It's not good and in this case, if it's for a single carriageway road, the car would have been stuck on the wrong side of the road. As it is, you had to go all the way round the roundabout to use the turn he wanted. Learner drivers, they're learners. Give them some time, give them some space. This bridge is actually going down into single carriageway. And is this an appropriate overtake? Quite close to an accident there. I've already had a look at this learner driver. They've had a few wobbles over the road, crossing the centre lines. So I'm giving them some space to their back, to their side and to their front. I give learners at least 50% more distance front and back when I'm beginning the overtakes so they can see me and also I don't cut them up. And finally, is your overtake actually going to be progressive? Are you going to gain an advantage? If you're sitting in a long line of traffic in a car and you do an overtake, you're one car length ahead and you might have uh, cut a bit close to people, you'd certainly have upset them. It's not worth it in a lot of cases. In heavy traffic, you can do stepping stone overtakes on bikes, which I've covered in the past, and you are more likely to make progress. But just think about it, are you actually going to get a benefit from the overtake? So we'll have a look now at an overtake that is crap. This is a 60 mile an hour road. The car in front of me has come out of a 40 limit and hasn't actually accelerated. We're some way out of the 40, they haven't accelerated, so it's a pretty safe bet they're not just gonna suddenly stick their foot down. I know there aren't any side turnings here, so it's not going to be looking for a farm gate to turn into. So as we go past, nice and wide, nice acceleration. There's nothing coming the other way. I'm uh, back in, very smooth, very efficient, and not causing anybody any problems. And now here's another acronym for you, CUCK. This is for when you should be looking at committing to an overtake. You commit upon completion. If you can't bail out, don't pull out. Always look for a safe way of aborting the overtake. Right, that's all from me on overtakes. Hopefully you'll be doing yours a lot better than some of the ones in this example have been. So remember, make your overtakes crap and be a CUCK. Until the next video, catch you later or on the road.